Thank you for joining me to make this easy paper Easter egg craft. Today you are going to need some scissors, a pencil, some paper in a variety of different colors. I just have a small amount of each of my colors and a piece of white paper to draw our egg on and some glue. Now we're gonna grab that white piece of paper and we're going to get ready to draw our egg. You can draw a large egg, a small egg, it doesn't matter what size your paper is, whatever size you choose will be the size of your egg. So with our pencil, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start and curve around, down, and back up to the other side. So we're just making an egg, almost like an oval shape. Let me just show you one more time. Around, down, back up. Once you have your egg, you're going to put a few lines on your egg. I'm just gonna start, and my first line, I'm just gonna curve it down, up, and back down again. My second line, I'm just gonna go from one side across to the other. You just wanna make sure in between you have space. So see in between each of my lines, there's some space because we're gonna be gluing paper. I'm gonna draw another line that looks exactly the same and you can see I have some space and another curved line like my first line. So each line has a space in between it. So it's a line, space, line, space. Now we're gonna take our paper colors. Now I have a whole bunch of paper colors. You get to decide what you would like to use. I'm gonna start with this color and all I'm going to do is tear my paper. So I'm gonna rip it apart into tiny little pieces. You don't want your pieces to be too big and you don't want them to be too small. So you're gonna to have to find a piece that works for you. So that's a bit too small because it's gonna be hard to glue. If it's too big, then it, you're just gonna fill your whole space. So you just want to find a tiny little piece that's going to work with you, but not too tiny. And if this is a bit tricky, you can get someone to help you or you can use some scissors and just cut little pieces of paper. Once you have your little pieces of paper, you're going to use your glue and you are going to put glue. Like I like to start right at the top and just do my first little section. So just that first little part, put glue all across. Don't worry if it goes over top of your lines, we are gonna trim later. So here I'm going to start right where my line comes down and curves and I'm going to put my little pieces on. You can start wherever you like, but I like to start here just to help me make sure that I get that curved line in. Now, as you're gluing, you're going to overlap some of your pieces and that's okay because you wanna cover up any white spaces. And then when I get to the end, see how it goes over top of the edge? That's okay, because we're gonna trim later. So if it goes over top of the outside line, it's okay. So you just keep going, take your pieces and glue them right on top. If you find that you put a piece down and it doesn't stick, just use some extra glue and put some glue on and keep going. So fill in all those little white spaces. Here I have to put a little bit of glue on this one and fill the white space and there we go. We have the first part done. Now I want to fill in the second part. So I'm gonna choose another color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tear my paper and fill that space. And I'm going to continue that all throughout my craft. So each time I come to another section of my egg, I'm going to tear the color I would like and then glue all the little pieces on, not worrying about whether they stick out over the edge because we are going to trim when we're done. So I have one last section to go. I'm adding my glue, filling in my space, and that's all you wanna do. You wanna make sure all your spaces are filled in with whatever colors you would like, and then when you are done, you check it over, make sure that you don't have any white spaces, and then grab your scissors, and we are just gonna trim around the outside. So around that oval shape that we created, that egg shape, you're just going to trim, and you can see all the little pieces that are sticking out. I'm just trimming those off so it is nice and perfectly shaped like an egg. And there we go. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids to make this easy paper Easter egg craft. Remember, be creative and have fun.